Yeah, I had fuel. You got it? Yeah, I went to the park and I uh, saw the water. Yeah, we're going to get some gas. Did you have a lot How much? Uh, it just short of 12 gallons, 11 and change. How much money do you want? I don't know. I'm not even sure what it is again. Yeah, I'm Alrighty, we're starting day number two of the actual route. Today is Sunday, and I've actually been on the road since Thursday after work, but today's day number two of the BDR. We're heading out of uh, Plush, and I want to give a huge shout out to the town of Plush. The storekeep, he was stressing yesterday with his fuel pumps being out, and uh, he tried everything he had to get the pump running. The local rancher showed up, brought us some fuel. Well, he sold us some fuel, but what a great guy. Made a special trip home to go get it. So we're actually able to fill up our our bikes completely. So we don't have to go into Paisley. Our plan was to go into Paisley, but uh, we don't have to do that now. We're just going to continue on the route and uh, start having some fun. All right, day number two. Two track heading out across the sagebrush. Feels good. Everything feels good this morning. Actually, coming out of Plush is just lovely. Um, what a great little two track road here. Had to go through a couple gates. This just looks fantastic. Day two is starting off very nicely. Hey, well, thank you guys very much. If you're tuning in to day number two, hopefully that means you liked day number one video. Uh, if you haven't seen day number one, hey, go back and check that one out. But uh, I appreciate you watching day number two of the BDR. This is just fantastic. Oh, look at this. This is just so nice. So we're at the tower site. 
Look at this, another great view. Squat on the edge. Look at this, everybody. Oh man, another great place. Nice switchback road leaving the tower site. Gonna end up riding the road right along the power lines. Hopefully it's a nice road we can rip. Then there was rocks, and lots of them. We think we're about 20, 20 miles out of Christmas Valley, 30, or less, yeah. 20 or less miles out of Christmas Valley. This section has been fantastic. What do you guys rate this on a scale of one to five? Four and a half. The fun? The fun, awesomeness. Five, yeah. five. Four and a half, five. I'm going with Mike, four and a half. Because if it was perfect, it would have been the Swedish bikini team selling lemonade halfway down there. That would have made it a five. Oh, man, this riding is fantastic. Oregon BDR hasn't hasn't disappointed yet. I think everybody agrees. All right, let's get to Christmas Valley and get some lunch. All right. We are rolling down into the farmlands of Christmas Valley. Another great section of the BDR. Christmas Valley we just got fuel we're gonna go down to a restaurant I've eaten at a couple times called the ranch hand we're, we're gonna go down there uh, really it's our breakfast too I think your breakfast lunch and uh, I, I, we're gonna try to make it all the way to China hat tonight maybe we'll stop at Pine Mountain and camp there we'll see who knows but Christmas Valley and man the riding has been fantastic the Oregon BDR has not stopped delivering yet it's great I want more all right everybody see you on the trail Beers, what's your one piece of advice to get a people doing the BDR? Smaller bike. Oh, come on! Don't use the 1,000 cc bike. There's that girl that joined on the BMW, didn't she? Good for her. That's <laughs> not. More power to her. Uh, it's a real section. Drink a, drink a butt ton of water and be in shape. I think uh, electrolytes, water, be in shape. You know what you're getting in for. I'm, I'm still playing catch up. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just, I have no energy. I think less than the big bike, or more than the big bike, it's just being ready for what's out there. Right? Fuck the desert.
So we've been two days on this route and we finally made it to the trees. We have, I'm gonna say close to 300 miles ish without exaggerating. We finally made it to the trees. All right, Green Mountain Observatory. We're checking it out. It's beautiful. Look at this. And there's a Prius up here, so hey, anything can make it. All right, Pat, what do you think of today's riding? Epic. <laughs> From plush to uh, China hat, epic riding. So uh, Pat and I are gonna show you a little pro tip. Actually, my buddy Mike told me about this. Get yourself a uh, Nalgene type, not Nalgene, Hydroflask type water bottle. Get ice from the last gas station and you can carry ice. Oops, looks like you got a little water in there. We don't want to dilute our our booze. All right. I forgot get, my cup. get some ice in your hydro flask towards the end of the day. You make yourself a cocktail with ice at camp. All right, everybody. That's how you have ice on a backcountry trip. They don't find you handsome. At least they'll find you handy. Well, I can't. Sure, that's ideal, but yeah. But if if, if I get too dust. close and I can't see what's in front of me, were you trying to get a hold of me, um, get my attention here when you're creeping up? Or All right, everybody. We're gonna see you guys in the morning. We're hanging out, having our cocktails. We'll see you in the morning for day number four, or is it three? Well, you've been recording this whole day time? Day number three.